Hello, we are in England and this is an actual person who did contract COVID. Yes, I did. Do you know how you, how you got it or? Uh, no, I got it right at the end of the uh, lockdown, uh, right at the beginning of the lockdown. So I probably caught it before the lockdown started and uh, my whole family got it and uh, it could have been a lot worse. Uh, and uh, it could have been worse, but yeah. you said you were, you were laying down flat. Uh, yeah, I was, for, I was face planted on my mattress for um, uh, two weeks. I couldn't get up. Couldn't because of move. the breathing, you were face planted? No, or? just exhaustion. Really crippling exhaustion. I couldn't get my arms in the air. I couldn't oh. sit up. Um, and my wife, who was ill but not awful, she hasn't had smell or taste for more than four months now. And now you're saying that this causes some problems that people don't think of, not, not only health problems, but also practical problems in the household and, and so on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, we don't like my wife cooking anymore because uh, <laughs> everything gets burnt because she can't smell things cooking or burning and the gas gets left on without being lit. So yeah, it uh, causes problems you hadn't thought of, non-medical problems. <laughs> what, is your, what is your favorite food right now since you are cooking now all the time? Uh, Takeaway. Takeaway <laughs> tastes fantastic. <laughs> Takeaway. Yeah, take away. <laughs> you know, that's the best food goes. Oh, gosh. So, so if people don't take care and are not wearing masks and so on and so on, what would be your message? I mean, how bad is the illness compared to like whatever you call it, the, the, you know, the flu or a cough or a uh, fever or something? Like that. We were lucky. We, it was bad, but it wasn't awful. But it's a killer. It just is. Uh, we can't get away from that and uh, the fact that some people don't get it badly doesn't mean this isn't really serious you just gotta you've got to follow the basic rules you've got to wash your hands you've got to keep social distance you've got to wear masks because it's it's a really really nasty disease also about the taste and smell that is probably very sad because maybe your wife enjoyed i don't know what cheese wine food and now probably everything tastes the same for her yeah no it, it's really horrible she hates eating now because oh. because it's all just sort of it's just fuel there's no pleasure in it at all yeah. so yeah it's really hard for her really hard she doesn't like it at all finds it very difficult did you think you would die when you were laying flat face down or, or <laughs> how, how bad was it no it, it was i was really really lucky uh i didn't have big breathing problems i had uh, stomach problems maybe not talk about that too much that was fairly <laughs> unpleasant and uh, i was just fantastically tired really bad but the symptoms are hugely variable and the after symptoms i had anxiety for months afterwards for oh. no reason um and it's fading now and there are a lot of after symptoms we don't really understand yet you know uh strokes uh problems with uh, the brain yeah. circulation system there's a lot we don't know it's new that's the problem that's maybe where the anxiety came from from like probably the heart or the brain you never yeah, know yeah, it could, exactly. could come from there yeah yeah you know there there are some really strange side effects and after symptoms going on here we it's, it's too new we don't understand but there's a lot of them this is the big shock for medics is we're finding lots of after effects that we didn't expect it's not like the flu fucking wear your mask yeah thank wear you your very mask. much wear your mask thank you very much